Welcome back to another Mobile Minute. Chuck, you recently had an experience in a Staples store where you literally got handed money. Pretty much. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Uh, I, I price check uh, pretty much everywhere I go. A lot of it is just because of what I do. A lot of it is, is, is I want to see what, where people are in terms of retail. Uh, Staples, one of the companies that, that sort of got price matching as a concept with mobile early on. I was in there. I scanned a product. It was $160 to buy there. I scanned it. It was $115 at a, at a nearby Target. I showed it to the person at the cashier. She checked, bang, $45 off on the spot. So that's $45 US saved in about four to five seconds. So if I could do that every four to five seconds, we could uh, have, be having quite a lot of money here. Uh, it's basically that that concept was the Staples price match guarantee. What they basically are doing is saying we will match the price of any legitimate competitor. Best Buy did this a while back. Target did it a while back. Uh, and what they're doing is this is showing that there's much higher value to the person who's in the store. And that's the real uh, opportunity for a merchant these days is they have the person in the store. And if they let the person showroom, basically check price check and go buy somewhere else, they're going to lose a lot of business. It was like having a second job, it would seem almost. But I don't understand this. Why don't retailers just do this by default? I would have a huge amount of respect if I just walked up with that $165 product and they're the ones who found the $115 version. It, it's not in their cultural DNA. That, that's kind of the problem. And, and that's that's the big transformation that has to occur where the retailer, the people on the floor have to become the advocate for the shopper as opposed to the advocate for the seller. And that would be a big transformation. Whoever does that first basically is going to win.